How the Soviets nuked a gas leak. You are the Soviet Union in 1963. And you're in big trouble. An accident in the Urdabulak gas field close to the Uzbek border triggers a catastrophic blowout. The well ignites and a flame nearly 70 meters high erupts, spewing millions of cubic meters of natural gas every single day. But it gets worse. The well's pressure over 300 atmospheres and toxic hydrogen sulfide make it lethal to approach. At night, birds and insects are attracted by the bright light and then are burnt to a crisp before they even hit the ground. The entire area is devastated. All attempts at conventional firefighting fail. But it gets even worse. All of this takes over a thousand days, almost three years. Yes, three years. So, you are now the Soviet Union in 1966 and you still have a huge problem. Your engineers have just one last proposal and it involves a nuclear bomb. They don't want to simply nuke the gas field, of course. They want to drill a shaft next to the well, 1500 meters deep, and then a 30 kiloton nuclear device is to be lowered down this shaft and detonated underground to compress the well. The Soviet leadership finally approves. So on September the 30th, 1966, the nuke is detonated. Twenty seconds later, the fire is completely extinguished. The explosion collapses everything and seals the well permanently. Radiation at the surface stays below background levels. This episode marked the first time a nuclear explosion was used for a peacetime application. But not the last one. Because when you are the Soviet Union in 1968, you're in big trouble. Again. Because you have a similar gas leak, uh, this time in the Pamuk region. So, yeah, you just nuked it. No big deal. Subscribe for more nuclear stories. No big deal.